city of Yorkshire. Oh, a cup car smashed up. Where the bloody hell am I? Where am I going? <laughs> And the fog has gone. What be bloody dude? Found a spot, another street camp. Get through walkies. Okay, it's not like this uh, concrete. That's a bit of that. Oh, I bet that costs a few bucks. Tati, kiss me quick, holiday resorts and all that. Bloody disgraceful. Absolutely disgraceful. We've been queuing here for hours. Very pretty she looks too, past three. Time for the Guinness. We're having a party in Christine. <laughs> smashed up. Hi mate, a couple of cars smashed up to pieces. Oh dear, wonder what went on there. Where the bloody hell am I? Where am I going? <laughs> it looks nice, doesn't it? Nice little seaside town. Find nice somewhere to park. Spot, another street camp. Look at the beach there, that window, lovely jubbly. And uh, Bridget used to stand there. Uh, we'll give this a go for tonight and see how we get on. The sea rolling in down there. The sun's setting up there, guys. Beautiful. And you can see that. And then back of Christine. Right. Will this do, Sky? Oh, you can't see it. Pitch black. <laughs> right, we'll have a look at Bridget tomorrow, guys. Lovely. Show you the bedroom view, guys. They're out last night. The uh, window's shut at the moment because uh, it's a bit chilly out there. There you go. There you go. That's my bedroom view there. Out to the ocean. Lovely jubbly. Absolutely beautiful. My lovely girl, Christine. Hi, Christine. Good morning, sweetheart. And my family. My lovely cosy bed. I've got my power out charging up from the solar. Near Sky. Eager to get out for a walkies. Yeah. Where are we? Here at. Uh, where am I? Bridlington. <laughs> I forget where I am. I'm moving around that much. Uh, quarter past nine nearly. Uh, we've got 23 degrees inside Christine tonight. And it's uh, four degrees outside. Well, it's not too bad tonight. It's not below zero. It might do later. It's Sky having a kip. She's had some supper. I'm just having... I even have porridge for uh, evening supper as well, guys, for evening snack uh, in my little slow, low wattage Mind you, say low watches, it's 240 watts. But uh, it runs off my jack crew, all right. It's only on for a few minutes and uh, it's all done. Uh, when I do my porridge, guys, I like to mix it up. Sometimes I have fruit, bananas and all sorts. Uh, but for tonight's treats, we've got porridge, which is nice and hot now. That's brown granulated sugar in there. I love brown sugar. And of course, I've got to have a splash of double cream as well. Look at that. In me one pot, guys porridge fresh thick cream and granulated brown sugar oh lovely evening supper so don't touch it in the summer isn't that weird strange isn't it anyway guys mm. oh lovely piping nice nice crunchy brown sugar on the top with lovely double cream as well sometimes i wake up at one two o'clock in the morning and i'll have porridge loving it hey guys good morning sky how are we doing? Good morning, guys. Warm, warm welcome. Uh, we're out here at uh, lovely Bridlington. Uh, and next stop over, north, on the way to uh, Galloway, uh, up in the lowlands of Scotland. Uh, where are we? School's on the doors. We've got 15, 16 degrees inside. It's about two degrees outside at the moment. And uh, another, another urban street camp, guys. I've got Bridlington two minutes in front of the van. Nice and close. I, I like to get nice and close to these resorts so we can go and have a look for you guys. Uh, so we'll have a look at all these resorts on the way up the coast. But uh, here at lovely Bridlington, sun today, which is nice. Bit of solar coming in as well, charging up my power oak and my uh, batteries on board. 
not too much. Only a few hours sun in this time of year, guys. So you don't get a lot from the solar. But uh, every little bit helps. Hey, Sky. Sky's had a breakfast. I've had my porridge out. Uh, I'm on my second cup of tea. Uh, so it's 11.30 now. Uh, so it gets dark about 3 o'clock now, doesn't it? So we'll get out. We'll do a bit of filming of uh, lovely Bridlington. We'll see what Bridlington's all about. Nice. I've had a nice shave and a strip down wash this morning. Lovely, comfy, nice. I mean, it is a, a, a kind of a main road. But uh, have a night time. Not a single car came down here again. So peaceful, so quiet. Outside a lot of holiday let's... Uh, Apartments here, I think, just by the lifeboat station at Brimington. Lovely jubbly. Another lovely, lovely urban street war camp. And it's free again. <laughs> what is it, 17 months, uh, 18 months or now? I don't know. Every single camp, we don't pay a penny on country van life. You know the way I do it, guys. That sun looks lovely. Surf the birds out there this morning were amazing. And the fog has gone. Whoopee bloody doody. Two days of that fog, done my head in. It's giving me headaches and all sorts of driving in that. Uh, really, really dodgy driving in the fog and the ice. But uh, it's all clear today and it looks absolutely beautiful out there, guys. Right, let's go and see what Bridlington on the seaside is all about. Lovely. So I think it's a bit of a mishmash uh, village kind of layout. But uh, we're going to have a look, eh? You come in? You come in? Come on. I'm going for walkies. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this, Sky. You lovely girl. Here we are at Bridlington, guys. The town is just there. And that's where Christine's parked. Nice out of the way, nice and quiet, not bothering no one. Nice street, free camp. As per usual, we'll go and have a look at uh, Bridlington, see what it's all about. It's bloody chilly again today. Even though the sun's out, it's lovely. Right, we'll crack on day, guys. And there's Christine. Lovely quiet camp of a night. Alright Sky. Alright Sky. How you doing Sky? Hey, come here, Sky. Come here. Oh, what are you doing? Another lovely promenade here at Bridlington. It's all frosty guys. I see as well on the foot. Look at that promenade down there. How glorious is that? That is beautiful. Look at that. Lovely little white laid out promenade all the way down the front of Bridlington there. All the hotels up there, guys. Absolutely beautiful. There's Christine over there. There's Bridlington. There's a harbour, the quayside. There's even snow on the beach. Lovely job, look. Look at that prom. promenade all the way down there. How lovely. All lovely laid out. Looks like they have a uh, promenade train, a land train running all up and down the promenade in the summer, guys. That looks nice. From South Beach all the way down to uh, Bridlington Spa. It looks quite smart, actually. Quite a smart resort. Very nice. Sea's nice and quiet today. There's no wind about, but uh, by golly, uh, what there is, there's a little bit of a breeze. It is bloody chilly. Oh, very nice. I must admit, I don't like this uh, concrete thing going on here. Looks like a bloody uh, World War II shelter. There's a harbour down there guys. We're going to have a look at the harbour down at the old, old town. Spanning down the beach. Look at the beach here. Wow. Look at that. It's for miles. Christine's that's down there past the theatre. Past the spa centre. Right, guys we're down in the lovely old town harbour with all the lovely old cobblestones here. Absolutely lovely. The cafes on the harbour front there. Very nice. We've got uh, a rudder there. Sky, don't pull me. Where's that from? A sailing ship from the 18th century. Caught in the trawl of a local fishing boat dominant whilst trawling in the North Sea. Blimey O'Reilly. Brass pinnacle and gudgeon from a sailing boat from the 1700s. Wow. It's amazing, eh? 
about the heart of Bridmington, which is the harbour. Bridmington's heartbeat. You see Salt's Cafe, Salt on the harbour. And here we are at the lovely old harbour side. This goes back some years, this harbour does, guys. You can see all the fishing huts on the uh, far side of the harbour. I believe they do a lot of fishing down here. The same is down at Grimsby, further down the coast. Famous for the fish stocks. Lovely, what a beautiful day. Sky, leave the seagull alone. Beautiful. You can hear the bustle of men working, fishermen. Getting their catches in, I think. How lovely is this? How beautiful. We'll have a span round behind us in a minute, looking at uh, Bridmonton behind us. Beautiful. Right, we'll have a span round now. Just give you a quick panoramic view of where I am, guys. Halfway up the pier. You can walk all the way up there. You can fish off here as well, I believe. Looking down the uh, the coast, look at that. Wow. Is that not glorious? Look at all the birds on the beach. The sun rising over there from the east. Christine's just over there behind the lighthouse, the uh, lifeboat station. Absolutely beautiful. Looking back up at uh, Bridlington there, guys. Stunning. Just walking along, listening to the birds. The oyster catchers, the gulls. Absolutely glorious. Oh, look at that sun. I can feel a little bit of the warmth off that sun, guys. Even in the middle of winter, we've got a little bit of a warmth coming off it, which is nice. Absolutely stunning, eh? What a beautiful place. It is nice, lovely seaside fishing town. Got cormorants and all sorts down there, guys. Uh, turnstones, egrets. The tide's out at the moment. shops here on the end of the pier guys on this walkway all the fish coming in here we go looking back at uh, Bridlington on the end of the pier beautiful eh all oh, that wind's a bit nippy up here absolutely lovely I love places like this I wouldn't camp here for long, I do like the remotes and everywhere, but uh, it's nice to come to holiday resorts now and again. Look at the coast over there, look at those cliffs over the back. Wow. Kind of boat safaris in the summer, fishing trips uh, in the winter as well, I believe. So, uh, all kind of things going on, guys. Lovely. Up in the town, it's a bit of a mishmash. The town, it goes all over the place. Not quite sure which direction to go in, guys, but it uh, goes up there, up towards the church up there. Got a bit of a town square kind of thing going on here. I don't know whether this is the old town or what, but uh, we'll keep having a look. But uh, it's going all over the place. There's uh, alleys everywhere. We'll have a look. Coming out off the harbour front, uh, by the whole town. A bit of a fun house there. Into the main uh, town centre here, guys. So there's loads of shops. You could spend a, a day walking around the bloody town. It's quite big, Bridlington. Goes off in every direction. Lovely shops and cafes everywhere, diners. Nice. Not too busy either. Obviously it's winter time. Got the main square up here, I think, where all the big shops are. Well, that sums up the weather, guys. Brass bloody monkeys for sure. Nice, we'll have a look down here. 
back down this way on the front. Oh, lovely, look at that, that's nice. That is pretty. It's certainly like concrete around here. It's got some more concrete posts there. I don't know what it is with the uh, concrete, but uh, that looks nice down there. It'd be nice with all the Christmas lights on. And coming out onto the front here, guys. The harbour's to my right. Got cafes and bars everywhere. Lovely. We're now on the other side of the harbour. Look at the sun setting over there, beautiful. Oh, I do love my walks in the winter. It's lovely. I wonder what it was like back then in the day. Eh? All the hard work, crafting on one of those ships, I'll tell you. Just looking back across where those cliffs are over there, beautiful, the beach going all the way up the coast. Looking back. Oh, let's crack on. All the beautiful Victorian buildings. The railway boom created when the railways came. Looking up there, up the front. Back down towards the, uh, that's where the fair is there, guys. So it's all shut at the moment. There's a little fair there. Oh, that sun is lovely on my face. The pavilion, looks nice in there. Nightclub, live music. Montezuma's, whatever that's about, guys. Adventure Playground. Treasure Island. Ooh, IR Silver. That's pretty cool. Oh, if I miss anybody, any van lifers or whatever, or any of my followers, I'd like to have a game of bowls with you. That'd be nice. I do like bowls. Place goes for miles, guys. Been walking for half an hour. Got more of a fun fair down there as well on the seafront, which is nice. It looks a bit posh down there. More lovely laid out instead of park benches. They've got park lounges where you can lounge on with your towel, guys. Enjoy the sun. It's all look at the pavements. Oh, lovely laid out. Beautiful. Oh, I bet that cost a few, Bob. Bridlington Leisure Centre. It's bloody massive. Swimming pools, exercise, all sorts going on in there. Absolutely massive. Bet that cost a fortune. Goes for miles down there, look at that. All beautifully land laid out. Absolutely beautiful. Long, nice long walk up there. Looks like the uh, snow clouds are coming in. Looks like snow clouds up there. But look at this beach. What a fantastic holiday beach for the families. Absolutely ideal for families. What a beautiful beach that is, guys. It goes all the way up there to North Bridlington, where Christine is right over the other side of the old town. And these impressive buildings. And the sun down there, beautiful. Glistening on the ocean. All right, so I'll make my way back up to the old town. Uh, I need a cup of coffee. Uh, warm my hands up and my my belly. <laughs> but it is bloody chilly, guys. But it's uh, beautiful. I do love walking. I could walk all day long, especially beautiful places like this. Okay, it's a holiday resort, I know. People say, oh, tatty, kiss me quick, holiday resorts and all that. But uh, millions of people love them, guys. And uh, I don't mind coming in and again, especially in the winter when it's quiet, I shouldn't, uh, you know, I'd hate to imagine what it's like in the middle of summer. It's probably absolutely heaving. More people enjoying themselves and why not with the two years we've had guys, why not come to these places, have a bit of family fun, kiss me quick hats and all that. Or oh, I need to get some seaside rock. I am absolutely addicted to seaside rock guys. I need to supply up for winter. So uh, find a rock shop somewhere. I do love Suicide Rock. Lovely job, mate. It's starting to get a bit cooler now as that sun's starting to drop, guys. Lovely job, mate. Right, it's going to have a cup of coffee, eh? Do you want one? Come on. I've been queuing here for hours. What the hell? Where is everybody? Jerome's restaurants. 
no prices on the menu, so I ain't going in there. <laughs> we like cheap places. That's great. Lots of herring ladies on the east coast guys. It was the main industry all the way down the east coast. All the way down as far as Norfolk, Suffolk, Essex. And here's a herring lady. Very pretty she looks too. The weather's changing a bit now, it's getting colder and colder as that sun is setting guys. The wind's picking up a bit, it's getting duller and duller as well. But uh, I might pop out tonight, uh, uh, I think I'll have a bag of chips, or some chip butties tonight. And Christine, a nice cheap meal, some chip butties. And then we'll have a look at the town, have a night time with the lights on guys. It's getting all a bit grey over there now, so it's not really good for photography or filming. But uh, I'll go some miles. Miles and miles. What a massive place. I mean, it's all made up for the tourist, it really is. It's a tourist town kind of thing. But uh, millions of people love it. All right, so I'm just getting to the end of the other side of the harbour now, guys. Back to you in a bit. Oh, it's chilly. What do you think, Sky? Eh? You cold? The entrance to the harbour. We walked all the way around there, guys. I need to get back. I need to get some coffee because I'm freezing. Lie me. A bit more on the history there, the Maritime Trail here at uh, Bridlington. All about the fishing boats, guys. There's quite a few boats out the water here. How the hell they get these boats up here, I don't know. And how they get them back down into the sea. They're all having the keels done, no doubt, over the winter. Oh, the lovely allure of fish and chips in the wind. <laughs> it smells absolutely divine, guys. Everybody getting ready for their evening suppers or whatever, or their restaurants. The ones that are open anyway. It's not a lot open. Not on the front anyway. There is in the town. But the smell of fish and chips is glorious, isn't it, guys? Especially at the seaside. Mm -hmm. yeah the bracing sea air and the lovely waft of fish and chips up your nostrils you can't beat it so i'm gonna have a bag of chips we're gonna just have chip butties tonight but i am frozen to the bone guys the things i do for you guys on youtube i've been out two hours three hours and i am absolutely frozen to my fingers i can't feel them i can't hold the older camera i can't feel my face it's almost painful <laughs> It's pretty cold, so I hope you appreciate this, guys. <laughs> but I love it, I love it, I absolutely love it. Uh, it makes it all that more wonderful when you get back to Christine and you get a warm hug from the heater and a warm hug from Christine. Beautiful, look at that. Sun setting now, it's getting a bit uh, cloudy and a bit naff, but uh, beautiful. Right, let's get to Christine, get some chips. I'll put Sky in, I'll pop out and get some chips. Lovely. Can you see Christine? Can anybody see Christine? It's just up there, guys. Cinema House. Yeah, Snow White. Bastille. Lost in Music. Acer Elliot. Yeah, it's a theatre. Lovely jubbly. There's a couple down there with two dogs, look. See the dogs? 
You see where that white one is? Just pooed all over the pavements. And they've got no intentions of getting that up. Bloody disgraceful. Absolutely disgraceful. Pick your bloody dog poo up, you dirty sods. Here we are, back home. Back home to Christine. Look at this guy. She knows the van look. She knows the van look. <laughs> oh, you lovely girl. All right, get inside, guys. Get my keys out. Go having a drink and having a munch. Lovely job, mate. Oh, it's quite mild actually inside Christine. Considering. Whoa, just knocked my fishing rod off me, bloody roof. Get back up there and stay there. Uh, yeah, it's about 15 degrees inside Christine, which is weird. Uh, it's about uh, zero outside. You know what? There you go, 14 degrees. There's no heating on because we've had the sun on it today. So the sun blasting through the windows, windows there, guys. Lovely jubbly. It's warmed Christine up a little bit. Lovely, get all these clothes off, all these winter clothes off me. Oh, I've got loads of layers on, guys, loads of layers. Oh, can you see me in the mirror? Can you see? Here you am. Hey, I am. <laughs> Here we go, back in Christine, guys, Lyme and Riley. It's going to take me uh, half an hour to get thawed out. Let's get that bloody kettle on, mother. Kettle's on, mother. Oh, looking forward to my bed tonight. I am naked now after that long walk. There we go, the sun's setting out there over the sea. Lovely job, Lee. Right, guys, for dinner tonight, uh, I'm not going to go out. Uh, I was going to go out and get some chips and have a uh, chip butter, wasn't I? But uh, I've changed my mind. Too bloody cold outside. The sky is nice and cosy there, in front of the heater as usual. And we are, it's getting a bit dark now, guys. Uh, time for my uh, supper. And uh, what are we having tonight? Lovely job, Lee. We're going to have a, a nice can of Guinness as well. Well, what have we got in there? Don't we love Asda or Tesco party foods Christmas time? I do. Uh, it's ideal for a single person. It lasts me for ages, these packs do. Uh, we've got some uh, chicken satay uh, on skewers there. Lovely jubbly. We've got some potato croquets there. Smashing. I love potato croquets. We've got some duck pancake rolls. Crispy duck pancake rolls. Lovely jubbly. And uh, I've got some of my uh, pineapple ring that I'd left from my fish and chips the other day. We'll have some bread and butter with that, some garlic mayo, lovely jubbly, salt and vinegar, bread and butter, and that's my supper sorted out. Lovely, lovely ice guy. You all right, baby? She's had her dinner. She's resting after a long walk today. Uh, we've about warmed up now, guys. After being out there, here's the tide's gone out at the moment. It's starting to get a bit foggy again. Uh, I hope it's not going to be foggy tomorrow, but uh, hey ho, never mind. Lovely job, Lee, but we're all nice and toasty warm inside Christine. Uh, it's coming up to quarter past three. Here we go. Quarter past three. Time for the Guinness. Lovely job, Lee. A nice evening supper inside Christine. Here at lovely, lovely Bridlington. Guys, guys, dinner time. It's party in Christine. Party time, party food. Here's my dinner. Lovely job, Lee. Chicken satire. Crispy duck pancakes, pineapple fritter, cheese and potato, croquettes, uh, a bit of garlic, uh, red uh, mayo, lovely jubbly. And uh, Arthur's joining me tonight. What's your Arthur? How you doing, mate? Long time no see. Right, get down this damn minute, guys. Lovely jubbly. We're having a party in Christine, here at lovely Bridlington. Hey Sky, do you want a bit? Do you want a bit? Of course you do. Lovely guys, let me scrum here. All those chickens and satires are lovely. Nice cheesy croquettes as well. Lovely. We're having a party. Very crispy. Alright, we're rolling. Warmed up pineapple in as well. Oh, oh. Cheers, guys. Cheers, Wellington. Cheers, here's Coach. Cheers, Yorkshire. We're in Yorkshire now. Oh, beautiful. Drop a Guinness. Lovely job, Lee. So, try one of these. Uh, Crispy duck pancakes. 
Oh, 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 lovely, we're having a party. Sky, that was bloody delicious. She had one of my pancake rolls, she loved it. Oh, that was divine. Supper, sorted, party food, as that Tesco, can't beat it. I buy a couple of packs of mixed varieties and uh, they'll last me for days and days. Loving it. Oh, belly's full. Time to finish off my Guinness. Lovely girl. All bellies. Me and Sky. Oh. <laughs> well, it's about half past nine at night, guys. Uh, I just sort of come out and uh, see if there's any lights here. It's, uh, this lovely uh, harbour here at Bridlington. And it is even colder. All the roads are ice. All the paths are high ice. Everything froze up in the last half an hour or so. The temperature has plummeted. Uh, the town's just a bit. We'll have a quick look for you. I thought to get you some pictures of the place of a night time. Oh, things I bloody do, guys. Oh, that is biting through my face and eyes. Bitter. Oh, the streets are frozen. There's hardly anybody about. It's only foolish YouTubers like me that are coming out filming this in these conditions. It is absolutely freezing. It's like that Arctic blast that come in that film. Remember that film? I don't know what it's called now. Answers down below, guys. But it is freezing. Everywhere is freezing. Well, it is winter, Stephen, you idiot. Well, there's, there's not a lot in the way of lights, guys. The place is deserted. A few lights up there, but uh, that's about it. Not a lot going on. No revellers around anywhere, or people say there's druggies or whatever. I don't see any. Anyway, let's get back, it's freezing. Well, it's nowhere near as, as pretty with all the Christmas lights as Skegness. Skegness had a lot more going on Christmas lights. They've not got a lot here at all, really. But uh, still nice. But bloody hell, it's cold. Oh! Oh, let's get back in and have a cup of tea. <laughs>